So in this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for HCl plus NaOH. That's hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. This is kind of a classic net ionic equation. You'll, you'll probably run into it in chemistry class. So to write the net ionic equation for HCl plus NaOH, we'll use these rules here to guide our work. We'll start out by balancing the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and it's actually already balanced. So that makes it kind of easy. Next, we need to write the states. So HCl, that's a strong electrolyte. It's a strong acid. That's aqueous. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. So strong electrolyte. It's also aqueous. So for the sodium chloride, we know that chlorides are fairly soluble. And we could look that up on a table of solubility to check. And if we did, we'd see that it's soluble. It dissolves or dissociates in water. That means it's aqueous. And water, that's a liquid. So we've written the states for each one of these. Now we're going to split the soluble compounds, the strong electrolytes, into their ions. To do that, we need to know the charge on each one of these elements here. Hydrogen, group 1, that has a 1 plus charge. Chlorine has a 1 minus. We have sodium in group 1, that has the plus charge. And this OH, that's a hydroxide, polyatomic ion, it has a negative charge. Over here, sodium has a plus charge, chlorine has a minus, and then water we're not going to worry about charges. It's a covalent compound, and it's also a liquid. We're not going to split that up into its ions. If you need help with finding the charges, there's a link in the description of this video. So we have our charges. Now we can split things up into their ions and write the complete ionic equation, the total ionic equation. Let's do that. We have H+, plus, and I won't write aqueous each time. Let's shrink this down so we have some more room. So these are the reactants, and we've broken up these strong electrolytes. We end up with the Na plus, plus the Cl minus. And then the water, we said that that's a liquid. That stays together. So that's just going to be H2O. We resize this. And this is the complete ionic equation for HCl plus NaOH. Next, we can cross out spectator ions. These are the ions that appear on both sides of the equation. So I can see the Cl here. I have it here and here. Let's cross it out the same. It hasn't changed. I have Na+, plus, Na+, plus, still the same. It hasn't changed. Really, nothing's happened. So let's get rid of that. And that leaves us with our net ionic equation. And we can write that like this. So that is the net ionic equation for hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. To recap, we wrote the balanced molecular equation. Then we wrote the states for each one of the substances, looking these up if we needed to. We found the charges. And then we broke them up, the strong electrolytes, into their ions and wrote the total or complete ionic equation. But for the liquid, we didn't split that up. Based on that, we crossed out the spectator ions, and that gave us the net ionic equation. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for HCl plus NaOH, and thanks for watching.